Coleman Wong came to the UK from Hong Kong seven months ago. Eligible to come here because of Britain's colonial ties, he's part of one of Britain's fastest growing communities. He says he had no choice but to move. For my kids' education, for a more stable life, uh, for freedom, and we have no other option. The last year has seen a net migration increase of more than half a million people. In spite of the record number of people coming to the UK legally, the government says it wants to reduce overall net migration, insisting this year there have been unprecedented circumstances causing the rise. Yet in the West Midlands town of Walsall, like so many other places, they're struggling to recruit workers. They are looking for people to do the work, but they have no one to do the work now. It seems like maybe British people or UK citizens, they don't want to do that kind of work. There's a nod to Britain's shifting migration history on most high streets. But Brexit saw a huge move back to Eastern Europe, according to Romanian shopkeeper Sile Dan. Uh, I think some of them left, yeah, because uh, I know I know some people they didn't even apply for for status, settled status. I think that they decided to go back because they didn't uh, they didn't uh, think that uh, they can survive here or they can they can have a good life. But the impact on changing communities isn't always easy to understand. Just ask 86-year-old Peter Webster. If there's too many come onto this island, it'll sink. We've accepted immigrants for oh, hundreds of years, but now it's getting beyond a joke. To me, it is. Britain is balancing the quest to fill jobs, get the economy going and manage its complex relationship with migration. Lisa Holland, Sky News.